Welcome, I'm GTGD, and this is my new GTGD S2 Learn Unity 2D tutorial series. And in it, I'm going to show you how to have a dynamic tile system using the Unity tile map and have saving and loading, basically writing all of the code, etc. So how about I just load that save game to show an example? And it's early in the morning here. And basically, I've constructed this stuff. In fact, I can just show you right now. I can just place down tiles in the world. I can go ahead and build stuff, etc. Build these random walls there. I can go ahead and save the game state. And if I go inside to and go inside of this house here, you can see uh, that there's an AI there right now. They're asleep. It's all it's very early in the morning. So no wonder. And there's uh, I guess the light color and the day changes as time passes as well. So I've just sped up the time there, so you can just see that become morning time pretty soon. And of course, I can just you know delete tiles like. Well, Etc. basic standard stuff like that. I can go ahead and do uh, pretty much all of that stuff. And you can see I've got shadow casting implemented as well, uh, which is really good for a tile map, by the way. And obviously I'm using a nav mesh, and these are nav mesh agents. So you're going to learn all of that in this tutorial series and how to integrate all of that, make use of animated tiles, and also make use of sorting orders. So yep, our AI is responding to the time of day. So you're going to also code that as well. And here, that's what I wanted to show you as well, that without coding, you're also going to set up sorting orders so that large objects, your player can appear in front or behind that object. Uh, so that's pretty much it. It's uh, You can go ahead and jump into the tutorials. Uh, if I just save that and exit it, you'll be able to see that um, uh, basically it restores the world to that. You can start a new game. So I can just say test, for example, start game. And there we go. That's just a brand new game started up. Then I can go ahead and just build something, save it, jump out, come back. And if I hit test, you can see that it restored it exactly as we were. Uh, and there's another save game here that I had as well. Uh, so I think that's, that's all pretty good, uh, in that sense. Um, yeah, so that's another one random bed in a window out there just testing a few things. So that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, this series will be on YouTube. So you'll be able to watch uh, the YouTube videos of it there as well. Uh, and I'm also I also have it on Steam, by the way. So I have a GTGD S2 on Steam as well. It's a, it was a very old series that I launched in 2014. That was a completely different project. It was it was it had become terribly out of date. So what I've done is I've made this new series uh, and I've replaced the old one with it. So anyone who already had GTGD S2, you'll find this in your Steam library. It's already there. It includes uh, basically all all of the um, uh, videos you have all of the videos you have all of the project folders in fact I can just show you that just give me a moment so this here is the launcher and pretty much you can see uh, the different features of the launcher so yeah it can go to my YouTube channel website etc but here's the main thing here's the the videos folder and you can see all of the uh, videos there as well and here's the uh, projects folder so you can pretty much see all of the folders there as well. So that's how I've got it. So video by video project folders with all of the code and assets, etc., uh, to help you out. Uh, so that's, I guess, pretty much it. So that's my intro video for uh, the new tutorial series for learning Unity 2D. Uh, you can go ahead and have a look into the video, see how what you think of the tutorial series. And uh, yeah, give me feedback as well. If you're watching on YouTube, give me feedback. Otherwise, you can always write on the Unity forums. Let me know what you think. And also, you know what you might want to see in the future, what kind of tutorial series you'd like to see in the future. All right, so I guess, yeah, thanks very much and uh, for your time. And I hope you really enjoy this series. Okay, I'll see you later.